So how do you save a PDF into individual pages? There are a number of ways um, to do it. I'm going to show you three quick ways which will depend on where your PDF is stored or how you've received it. So in this case, I've got it in my email. Now here it's in Gmail. In Outlook, it would be the same, whether it be Outlook Desktop or Outlook um, Online. The principle is the same and you'll see as I go forward. So if I open this up, this questionnaire, I want to, now this has got like number and number of pages. So I want to save the first two pages individually. Now, if you're doing bookkeeping, this is where this has come up, you'll probably be doing it because you've received a number of invoices as one PDF and you want to show them separately. So first thing you can do is if you can see here, I've opened it up in Gmail or in Outlook or any, or any other um, mail client, there will be a print option. So if you click on the print, and it will get there. So your document opens up. My printer dialog is a bit dodgy in um, Chrome at the moment, so ignore it. But you don't need the printer anyway. What you actually need is to change your printer to save as PDF. Now for this to work, you must have a PDF printer installed. So you must have Adobe. Foxit Reader. If you're using Windows 10, you will have an option that says um, Microsoft or Windows to PDF printer. You can choose that one, whichever, but you need to change it to that. And all you do is choose what page you want. So you put page one and then save and then save it to whatever you want to call it. I don't know, let's call it PDF one and we save that. And it will, if I go to the actual folder, you'll see the PDF there and there we go it's just one page and that's all you do for that one alternatively depending on where you are in your email or in your um, box you can download it and save it so we'll put in here with the other one so this is the entire PDF saved and then what we would do is we would go to the folder where the PDF is when it finishes downloading so we already have it inside our folder. Open it up into your PDF reader. Now I've got Foxy on here because I'm not using Windows 10 on this particular machine just to illustrate it if you don't have it. So the other thing is, uh, say if you've got Windows 10, you'll have the option just print to, um, Windows print to PDF. So you won't need to do any of this, but if not, this is in Foxit. If you have Adobe in a full, full blown one, Adobe actually does have a facility for you to split PDFs. But unless you've got that version, which you're paying for, um, you won't be able to do it. So again, um, you go up to um, print. It'll bring up here, bring up the dialog box. So what I'm gonna do is change it. Now I'm gonna do it as Foxit Reader PDF, or I've got quite a number of re um, readers in here. Um, use a Foxit one because that's what I've opened it in and I want to print page one only and this is all done via print when you save as a PDF so whatever wherever you are you're always going to your print dialog box you're choosing what you want to use as the printer which is a PDF reader and you choose which page so we okay that um, page one again save that And in Foxit, what it actually does is it creates just the page actually for you to look at as well. So the beauty of it is if you're doing bookkeeping, for example, or other work where you use the PDF on screen to work from, you could do that with each page and have each of them open alongside each other in row. And you just click on the one you want, click to the next one. You could also do that and rename them from here. It's entirely up to you, but that is how you split a PDF with multiple pages into individual pages.